that arrive with a bang. Neutron stars spark into life amid the death of their parent star. What you are about to witness is the densest object in the entire universe. A giant ball of compressed neutrons weighing nearly twice as much as the sun. This is a neutron star, one of the most extreme cosmic creations. A single teaspoon of this object would weigh as much as compressing the entire 8 billion humans into a sugar cube. But it owes its existence to the death of something even more fascinating. The births of neutron stars. Stars exist when trillions of tons of very cold gas and dust reach a critical mass, which allows them to collapse under their own gravity. But the neutron star is probably the strangest among them, even stranger than black holes. When a star at least eight times more massive than our sun reaches the end of its life, its core collapses under its own gravity, creating one of the most extreme objects in the cosmos. The result is an object that packs so much mass into a space roughly the size of New York City. What's even more strange is that, from afar, they look like a tiny speck of glowing dot in the vast space. The eye of the storm. A spinning, pulsating star. But a closer look shows a ball of raw energy and flashing light spinning at terrifying speed, up to 700 times per second, faster than the blades of a helicopter. Now, neutron stars are composed almost entirely of neutrons, the same particles found in atomic nuclei. However, unlike the neutrons in regular matter, these neutrons are extremely packed together, with virtually no space between them. This creates a density of approximately 500 million tons per cubic centimeter. To put that in perspective, it's like taking Mount Everest and somehow squeezing it into a dice-sized cube. When we slice this star in half, what lies beyond its crust is a superfluid core, where neutrons flow without friction. Scientists do think there might be even weirder stuff down there. Exotic matter made of strange quarks that doesn't exist anywhere else in the universe. A pulsar is a type of rapidly spinning neutron star. What's even more scary is they've got magnetic fields that are a trillion times stronger than Earth's. When these magnetic field lines interact with particles in space, they create these lighthouse-like beams that sweep across the cosmos. Getting anywhere close to it will instantly vaporize you into microscopic bits. There are over 2,000 known neutron stars, with the neutron star Calvera being the closest to the Earth, located within 1,000 light-years away. So if neutron stars are this powerful, how exactly do they come into being? We're just about to find out. It wasn't until the 1960s that the existence of these objects was confirmed by Franco Pacini. Unlike human biology, where life gives birth to life, it's actually the reverse for this object. The formation of a neutron star begins from the dead cores of a massive star typically containing at least 10 times the mass of our sun. When these stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, their cores can no longer support themselves against their own gravity, which leads to a catastrophic collapse. This collapse is what triggers a supernova explosion, the most dramatic event to happen in the entire universe, and the remaining core becomes what we call a neutron star. But this is rarely the end of the story. As this massive star gets older, it becomes even more desperate for fuel. First, it burns hydrogen into helium, then helium into carbon and oxygen, then it keeps going. Carbon into neon and magnesium. Each step requires higher and higher temperatures and gives back less energy. The star is basically working harder and harder for less reward. Then comes the moment of truth. The star starts making iron in its core, and this is where everything goes sideways. Suddenly, the star's power source just stops. Without that outward pressure from fusion, 
Gravity finally wins the battle it's been fighting for millions of years. What happens next is simply hard to believe. The core collapses in less than a second. During this collapse, the temperature shoots up to 100 billion degrees, hot enough to vaporize the entire planet Earth in seconds. There and then, out of the chaos, a new and stranger cosmic entity is born. A neutron star. Dense, hot, rapidly spinning object with an incredibly strong magnetic field that would consume anything that stands in its way. Just so you know, not all core collapses result in neutron stars, unless the core was incredibly massive to begin with in which case even neutron degeneracy pressure can't stop it. Then we'll have a black hole instead. Our knowledge of neutron stars is expanding fast. We said earlier in this video that the density of a neutron star is approximately 500 million tons per cubic centimeter. But to help you understand this extreme density, think about this for a second. Consider taking every single car, building, person, mountain, every atom of matter on Earth and squeezing it all into a sugar cube. That's what it would feel like in your hand. I mean, assuming you managed to survive it. It's so dense that a teaspoon of neutron star material weighs an insane 4 billion tons. The physics going on in this giant dense ball of energy is absolutely mind-bending. At these densities, quantum mechanics takes over in an extraordinary way. The neutrons get forced into what's called a degenerate state, where they're basically occupying the lowest energy levels possible. This then creates neutron degeneracy pressure, and that's literally the only thing preventing these stars from collapsing even further. The structure inside the star is like something pulled out of a science fiction movie. It has an outer crust that's basically a crystal made of atomic nuclei, sitting in a sea of electrons. After only about two kilometers deep into the neutron star, matter takes on perhaps its strangest form yet, the nuclear pasta. In this region, gravity, the strong nuclear force, and electric repulsion compete for dominance. The nuclear pasta region is only about 330 feet thick, but it weighs more than 3,000 Earths. Now that's a lot of pasta. This leads to odd, lumpy nuclei with exaggerated shapes, known as gnocchi. Below that, the individual lumps squeeze together into long tubes, known as spaghetti. Then, the spaghetti fuses together to form lasagna, which then merges into a single, uniform mass. Of course, everything here is still from a microscopic lens. But as you go deeper, the nuclei get more and more neutron-heavy, until they just dissolve into the ocean of superfluid neutrons that flows without any friction at all. Scientists still haven't fully grasped exactly what's going on in there. But what we can say is that there's a limit to how massive a neutron star can get, somewhere between 2.1 and 2.3 times the mass of the Sun. Beyond that point, even neutron degeneracy pressure can't hold back gravity, and the whole thing collapses into a black hole. These numbers could sound so extreme to comprehend, so let's compare them to our planet and solar system to give you a little more clarity. A typical neutron star has a diameter of about 20 kilometers, containing between 1.1 and 2.3 times the mass of our Sun. Our Sun, by the way, has a diameter of 1.39 million kilometers. If you could somehow shrink the Sun down to neutron star density, you'd be compressing it by a factor of 70,000 in diameter. The volume difference is even more insane. A neutron star occupies about 300 billion times less space than the Sun, while weighing more. Then compared to our planet, the Earth has a diameter of about 12,756 kilometers, making it roughly 600 times bigger than a neutron star. But that little neutron star contains about 500,000 times more mass than our planet. This, in fact, confirms that size has nothing to do with mass. Think about its density for a second. The Sun's average density is 1.41 grams per cubic centimeter, just slightly denser than water. 
Earth clocks in at 5.52 grams per cubic centimeter, but a neutron star has 500 million tons per cubic centimeter. That's 100 trillion times denser than water. What it also implies is that the surface gravity of a neutron star is 200 billion times stronger than Earth's. This also has a ripple effect on time, causing it to move about 30% slower on the surface of a neutron star compared to here on Earth. And pulsars became science fact. But the magnetic field strength is where things get even more intense. Earth's magnetic field is about 25 to 65 microteslas. A neutron star's magnetic field is about 100 million tesla, roughly a trillion times stronger than Earth's. The statistics are simply staggering. Temperature-wise, a newborn neutron star can reach 10 million to 100 million degrees Celsius, but they cool down relatively quickly through neutrino emission. Within about 10,000 years, they would have dropped to around 1 million degrees, and this continues over millions of years. Another mind-blowing feature of neutron stars is their immense gravity. The crust of a neutron star is about 10 billion times stronger than steel yet it can still crack under stress. When it does, the resulting star quake releases energy equivalent to 20 earthquakes on Earth. The interior contains superfluid neutrons and superconducting protons, quantum fluids with zero viscosity and zero electrical resistance. What have these cosmic monsters taught us about the universe? Neutron stars, having been observed for years, have become natural laboratories for studying physics under conditions we could never dream of recreating here on Earth. The precision timing of pulsar signals has led to some of the most important discoveries in physics. Remember the first evidence for gravitational waves discovered in 1974? It came from watching the binary pulsar PSRB 1913 plus 16 slowly spiral inward as it lost energy to gravitational wave emission. That one discovery earned the 1993 Nobel Prize in Physics awarded to Russell Allen Hulse and Joseph Houghton Taylor Jr. We might not fully understand what this cosmic weapon is capable of, but we do know that they are the seed of creation in the universe. They attract and destroy anything that comes close, producing the strongest magnetic fields in the universe. And who knows what other catastrophic creation lies in the depths of outer space, billions of light years away from our beloved planet Earth.